I thought I'd make a video on this uh, Westinghouse or on this uh, it's not a Westinghouse it's a uh, auto auto lamp model 750 light so I found another bulb that should work in it it states 12 volt looks like it's the numbers are kind of it looks like it says 4416 is the bulb number 12 volt and uh, it says made in the USA faintly above the contacts here but it doesn't have I don't see a, a brand on it this is the bulb that was in the light and I see why it was burned out now it says it's a Westinghouse 45 16 6 to 8 volt I don't know if that shows up there or not made in USA also but I suspect somebody plugged it into 12 volts but that just kind of shows the age of this thing being uh, 6 volt you know I mean that, still a lot of cars in the early 50s were 6 volts still so I would suspect this is from the, that time period the early 50s but anyway I'm going to get the bulb out and start cleaning things up put the new bulb in I took the light all apart to clean it this little thing just kind of turns on this handle and then you can access the screw there that holds this to this and then you can access the screw that holds this to this and this just has these little metal clips that held the bulb in this is the old bulb but yeah I just got to clean up the wiring and uh, put it together and it's uh, pretty much all done I just took this over on my buffer it still has you know marks and imperfections in it I mean you know it's probably 70 years old or more this has a few little pits in it still but like I say it's old so it's allowed to have that all right let me uh, throw it together and see if it works there we go a new 12 volt bulb a little bit of cleaning looks really nice clean the plug up the cord up let's plug it into the truck and see if it works yeah it's still in the teens out so painting isn't happening you know the brake booster is just kind of sitting there it's like uh i don't know 18 degrees out and it's supposed to be colder tomorrow and the next day so maybe next week before i do any painting but anyway let's uh try this thing out and plug it into the jack in the truck here trying to do this all one-handed i hope this thing this plug doesn't blow the fuse in the truck there we go let's see if it works and it does how bright that is let me see if I can get it I mean I got all the lights on in the garage and sun shining in yeah this thing's all right I think I'll keep this in the trunk of the Bel Air you never know you know if you got to work on a car on the side of the road and change a flat tire or something you got some light if it's at night so I usually keep flashlights in the coolers that I keep in the trunk and that way you know if I do need to work on them but this is kind of neat that it's vintage I'll put this to where it can be seen in the trunk you know so when the trunk's open it's visible it's just super cool all right there we go we got a working working light so I pulled out the ashtray and the galaxy took, took the lighter out and see if the light works in the it does well the clock's only it's only one minute slow and it's been since the last time I reset it which has been a 
few weeks, so it's keeping up pretty good. I'll adjust it. So you can see the mileage. If it shows up, it might be too much light on it. But it's still 8083. I haven't driven the car at all. But yeah, pretty, pretty neat light. Go around and shine it on everything. This was a I had an old Sears custom tractor that had headlights this size, and this was in one side, and it had the kind like regular headlights, you know, with the refractors or whatever you call them, on the other side. So I changed the bulb out, and I just put this one in my parts stash. Good thing. Huh. All right. Enough playing with the light. I did adjust the clock. I had a couple minutes there. And, uh, but yeah, I unplugged it. So anyway, there we go. Just thought I would, uh, on a cold wintry day, have something to putz with in the garage. Let's clean this up and get it working good. I didn't bother video buffing it because I just, you know, buffing is boring. And, uh, that's what I buffed it on. Mostly use the wheel on the right. And I used a lot of the blue compound on this metal and it seemed to clean it up pretty good but anyway there we go you know it's not a real long video but i was just out here putzing in the garage and uh working on cleaning this up and i thought well you've seen it in the estate sale ones and that video has had a fair amount of views so i thought why not uh you know show it all cleaned up here and whatnot so anyway, if you like the video, like the little gadget here, the little spot handheld spotlight, hit the like button. If you like my channel, you can subscribe by hitting that 348 engine icon that pops up there. And thank you for watching my videos.